Hey guys, I wanted to do a video today on hunting shotguns and the role that they play in survival and shit hit the fan situations. Now, with everything going on in 2020 right now, people are buying up shotguns like crazy. But I have noticed that they are not buying hunting shotguns, they're buying self-defense shotguns, which is not a bad thing. But don't pass up a good hunting shotgun, because what I want to talk about basically is the different types of ammos and different roles that they have for shotguns not everybody does videos on buckshot you know prepping for buckshot prepping for slugs you know because these rounds work good for everything they work good for self-defense they work good for hunting large game large and medium game you know pigs deer you know whatever is around you in whatever state you live in i live in florida so it's mainly just pigs and deer a lot of pigs <laughs> so but one thing that I've noticed in watching videos on YouTube and stuff like that is that nobody ever talks about what you're most likely to run into and what you need for it and what you're most likely to run into in any survival situation is small game birds squirrels possums raccoons you know all that stuff is edible and a shit hit the fan moment so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. So it's always a good idea to have a good stockpile of buckshot and a good pot stockpile of slugs. I mean, I'm not saying that. Have a good stockpile. But another good idea to have a good stockpile of is birdshot. And I will show you. This is a 100 round value pack of bird shot it's 12 gauge two and three quarter inch number seven shot now this these packs come in all different size I mean all different size shots you can get them from six seven seven and a half eight all the way up to nine and a half I believe and you can get them in different brands they have Winchester they have a state they have federal Remington they, they just there's a lot of companies that sell them in these value packs and they all of them typically run between 20 and 30 dollars and you could buy these at walmart i bought this at walmart uh for 22 dollars just a couple months ago and i buy these packs and i have them stored up because if it gets to a point to where i need to go out and hunt for food i am more likely going to come across small game so I like to have a good stockpile of game loads for my shotgun, for my hunting shotgun. Because, uh, that's kind of in the way. Hunting shotgun has a long barrel on it, it has a 28 inch barrel. This is a pump shotgun, it's a Maverick 88. It's not very expensive, $200 shotgun works great. It'll feed anything I put through it. And I put everything through it. But these boxes, they come in, you know, they have some, the 25 round boxes inside. And these things are not very expensive. Like I said, anywhere from $20 to $30. You could easily spend like 100 bucks and get 500 rounds of birdshot. And it's not a bad idea to stock up on some bird shot because you never know if you're going to need to take down a take down a bird in air, or maybe even on a power line if it's a real shit hit the fan situation. You know, I have a lot of orange groves around me, so you never know what you're going to find in an orange grove. But this is one thing that I feel like most people kind of just blank over when they talk about survival and preparation is they never talk about having a good stockpile of bird shot. So that's kind of what I wanted to just bring up today. Nothing fancy or anything. But um yeah, I mean just there's always different options. You know, shotgun is one of the most rounded all around guns out there you can pretty much do anything with it home defense hunting survival it's 
it's whatever, you know. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say today. I mean, if you like what you see, uh, think about subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, commenting. It helps, especially because I'm a new channel and I'm kind of starting off. But uh, thanks a lot, guys. See you later.